You know, it's interesting you say that because when we were filming, they, Shell, the director, asked me to be myself. And so, and I, I think the biggest part of being myself is the, the, the goofiness that the character portrays in, in the film. Papa ji ne brush fini kita. Whether it be th through body language or, or the running sequences, or whether it be through verbal and, and, and my facial expressions, I, I think the goofiness of the character is, is something that I carry normally. I need to make money, man. So get a job, you lazy ass. No, man. Not just like any job. I need to make a lot of money. And fast. So? You know, I don't know if hooking's the way to go. Being a hoe is pretty hard these days. Uh, well, I would say Herc is Hercules for me. And um, Hercules is a doer. I find, uh, especially with acting, that we get caught up in, in thinking too much. And that's definitely the det detriment to the art form a lot of the time, at least for me, and where I struggle as an actor, kind of getting my footing. So Herc is great because he's just a doer. Just don't think. Just, just go. Just do it. And, and I love that. I enjoyed that with his character. I mean, what were you doing running away like that? I mean, what if I didn't see him? What if that guy caught me? What were you thinking? She's fun. I was really excited to play the fun party girl. I thought you saw him. You thought? Really? Well, don't. Don't you dare think again. Yeah, she's, she's bossy. So it's always fun to play. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's, she was just really fun. She, she lived in a very like light place for being such a, a dark at her core, so. I, I have an idea. Well, why don't we ask Winder? That's a good idea. Yeah. No, that is not a good idea. Why not? I don't feel good about this, Cassie. He's our friend. He'll help us. Cassie, let's not ask him for money. Don't be stupid. Whenever you, whenever I take on a character, I think it's, it, it is me. And it's just parts of me, perhaps, that I don't like to show the world, perhaps. Um, so, Cassidy, she she's really just wants love, you know? She's just a lost girl, and she's going different places. So for me, it was just sort of finding people to love her. And yeah, I guess we all want that, right? We're all lonely, so. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing, Cassie? I'm gone. Leave! I don't need you! Go! I don't need anyone!
First of all, Anna Rosa was not conceptualized by me. When Shell wrote the script for me and when he had me in mind when he was writing this, he believed that I could do this character way more than I did. When he first told me, I said, I'm not, I, this is not me. So at the superficial level, I probably brought nothing because this character was based on a clean slate. But at a more uh, deeper level, I might not choose the things that Anna Rosa did in her life, but her values, her morals, and her conscience, which shows through in some portions of the film, I think is very similar to who I am in reality. Two more, three more, <laughs> yeah. Are you crazy? She's very innocent. She's taking the world in. Again, coming back to that clean slate, she's she's clean and she's taking the world in, in front of her. Uh, and that's what's kind of evolving her into who she becomes and then chooses to unbecome, if that makes sense. Uh, so I think that's the most uh, important part. And I actually took back something of Anna Rosa when I played her with her innocence. So I think that's the most beautiful part of who she is.